Hi everyone, in this video, we would like to learn common method bias with the help of latent variable. That is, un, uh, that is the uh, unmeasured latent variable, how we have to use to remove, to, to know the common method biasness. So let me start. Uh, this is uh, my uh, CFA model I had already created. And uh, let me run this file first. This file is attached already here, right? And uh, okay, fine, maximum likelihood, that's fine. And after that, I would like to learn, run this file. So you can see here, uh, these are my values. So I will go to this output and I have to check model fit and all. I think these are all are fine. Those are below thresh threshold value. So I'm sure these are under control. So estimates, we have to go to estimates. So those are the standardized regression weights. We have to copy all these. And, and this one is the standardized regression weight. We have to copy these standardized regression weights and we have to paste here. So I had pasted in my Excel sheet. So all these values are put it here. <clears throat> now what I have to do, uh, here is you can see, now I want to, I first of all, I would like to change interface properties. First is portrait, then I have to convert into landscape A4. So you can see here, this would be the, this one screen would be like this. And uh, now I want to move this model towards the right side, because here is, I would like to create my latent variable. So here is, I had shifted this model towards that side. Now what I have to do, I want to create one latent variable over here, right? So let me give name to this latent variable. That would be, we can call it common factor, common factor, right? and a common factor. So what I have to do, I want to connect this common factor with each and every item. You can see here, let me connect this common factor with each and every item. So you can see here after that, we want to give them loading. Uh, and here is otherwise what you can do, Professor Gaskin already given plugin and you can install this plugin and uh, in a one go, you can connect this common factor with each and every item. Now I would use magic stick and you can see here, I had arranged them nicely. Now what I have to do here is I would select each and every row, right? Here is, you can see here. Now each and every row, that would be because we would assign, here is one regression weight. So let me, you can see here, I am just, uh, each and every arrow, I am just putting up and that is converted into blue line, you can see here. Mm. Now you can see. And I'm sure the one is left out right now what i have to do i would select it and i would click double click then parameters then i would like to give them weight a and uh, here is i want to this one is the parameter constraint so let me uh, 
click on A and that would be copied on each and every arrow. Here is, I want to give, this one is the variance would be 1. So I had given variance 1. Now, what I have to do, I would like to run this file, right? And uh, you can see, proceed with the analysis. And now we want to see these are my values. So what I have to do in the result output, again now estimates, right? And those are my regression weights. These are my standardized regression weights. So I have to copy these regression weights in my Excel sheet. Again, I will copy and I will put it here on the, I will paste here. So what I have to do here is, I would like to see the difference. I would like to see the difference, right? You can see here, these are before, before I had created latent variable, right? And that is after connected with latent variable. So I would like to check the difference, right? So what I have to do, I would select this and minus this value. Then I will, okay. I will select this and minus this value. Then I would press enter. And I will drag this right till here. Now let me check, let me check whether these values are, where is the values are greater than 0.2. That means those values are greater than 0.2. That means we can say there is common method bias problem is here. Otherwise there is in my data, there is no common method bias. So what I have to do, let's say conditional formatting, highlight cells rules greater than and I should okay fine let me first select this right I would select this data conditional formatting highlight greater than and I want to give 0.2 those are the values are greater than 0.2 that should be highlighted so that means only in two uh, items I am facing this problem, common method bias problem, EC3 and EC1. Rest are, these the rest of the values are not facing any common method bias or any bias kind of problem is we are facing. So this is the one way how you have to check your common method bias. Right, I'm sure this variable through the latent variable only. Rest of the methods we are going to discuss in the next video. So I'm sure this video would be helpful to you. Thank you. Keep watching.